One of the great features of Level Book is that you can look at your students a couple different ways. By first and last name, you can sort、uh, the list of students in your Level Book, and that makes it really easy to find students on, on the list. You can also sort by date, and when you sort by date, the students that were most recently tested go to the bottom of the list, and the students that need to be tested next will pop to the top. You can also sort by reading level. Which lets you quickly group students that might need extra support and lets you see which students are meeting standard. Now, if you tap on any student, you can view all the records associated with that student, and with a quick glance, you can evaluate the student's progress. A green highlight means that the student scored a 95% accuracy or higher. Yellow means that that book was at the student's reading level, and red means that the student did not pass that running record. If you'd like to assess a student, you can press the Test Student button at the very bottom toolbar, and up pops the running records calculator with your book list centered on the reading level that the student is currently at. So the book that you're going to test the student on will only be one or two swipes away. So Let's say I wanted to test up a level. We'll choose that one. And now I'm ready to begin the assessment with my student. So I press start there, and the timer starts. The recording is, is being recorded. And as I am taking my notes on the transcript, I can also flag the recording and flag self corrections made by the student. When the student finishes reading, I can press done, and I have. Uh, all my calculations are already made for me. If I need to change the number of errors, I can always do that. Put in those errors.、Uh, so、same with the self corrects. And I can put in a comprehension score. And I can add some notes. One of the great things about Level Book, after you've finished a running record, you can attach those notes as an image to the running record. So I'll just press the camera button here, center the page under the camera, take the picture. Save it, and that image is now attached to this running record. Once you've finished testing the student, you can save that record, and you'll be prompted if the student passed that test to、uh, raise the student's reading level.、Uh, you can either do that manually or you can just say yes and let Level Book take care of it for you. You can adjust the student's level by just pressing the plus button or the minus button right here on the top. And if you have a running record that you took at some earlier time that you just need to add as a record to Level Book, you can always press the add record button. And if you'd like to have a look at a previous running record, you can just tap on it to see all the details.